Hi everyone, I'm Scott Bouse. I'm one of the legislative directors at the Enlisted Association of the National Guard's National Office here in Washington, D.C. I want to provide a quick update for November's Drill Weekend Talking Points. Uh, some of the most important things have been going on these last few weeks since the last update is continuing to debate the FY Fiscal Year 2018 National Defense Authorization Act. That's the annual defense bill that pushes policy. The National Office staff, including myself, have been meeting with a bunch of House and Senate offices to include professional staffs on the committees about a very important issue to your association, that is uh, the expansion of TRICARE Reserve Select to eligible federal employees, i.e. a 113,000 person technician population. Uh, the average cost savings of allowing expanding that TRICARE coverage is between $100 to uh, $150 a month, depending on if the service member is taking health care for just themselves or themselves and their families. Uh, TRICARE Reserve Select for per individual is about $50 a month, and for a family coverage is about $225 a month. Um, Language is included in the Senate passed National Defense Authorization Act, but because there's no similar language in the House passed National Defense Authorization Act, as the two committees are meeting to work out differences in their bills during conference, it's important that we be up there advocating on your behalf to provide that coverage. Uh, details are still in the works. Uh, the resolution exactly hasn't been resolved at this time of uh, the recording, but the staffs have been motivated by Chairman Mac Thornberry of Texas uh, uh, on the House side and Representative Senator John McCain, Chairman of the Senate Armed Services Committee, to be done with considerations by the end of this week. That's the first week of November. So uh, we're, we're, we're working hard. Uh, we think we're going to be getting uh, some traction there and uh, we're certainly optimistic. Uh, there's one more piece of the legislation uh, that's included in the House passed National Defense Authorization Act, so uh, inverse from the scenario I just described that provides TRICARE Reserve Select coverage for pre and post mobilization uh, for anyone serving on 12304B or 12304A coverage, uh, obviously affecting reserve component service members. Uh, that's been an issue. The benefits and equities uh, along the duty status have been uh, an issue for uh, the, the three years that I've been working at the national office and uh, there's some education benefits that have been addressed previously but uh, this is a big health care piece that we'd like to see fixed and then in the next year we'd like to see early retirement credit uh, that's the other major pillar with that duty status but it's something that'll have to be worked next year and we'll be keeping you at the pace, or right, we'll keeping you informed on that as we uh, move into next year's cycle. So thanks for joining me today, and uh, keep checking back here for additional updates.